Hello students. Now let's see the minimum mode write machine cycle. So already in the previous video I have discussed in detail how to draw a timing diagram for the read machine cycle. Now we'll see the write machine cycle. A slight difference will be there. So it's very easy once you know how to draw. Okay. So first let us represent the high order address and status multiplexed lines. That is A19 to A16, S3 to S7 and sorry S6 and BHE bar multiplexed with S7. Okay. Uh, so let's represent these lines first. So in the first T state what we have on these lines address high order address. So A16 to A19 and also we have bus high enable bar. In the next T states what we have on these lines for the rest of the three T states. We have status lines S3 to S6 also S7. Now let us represent AD0 to AD15 multiplexed address and data lines. So what we have on these lines we have DA, A0 to A15 in the first T state. Then there will be a changeover once ALE is latched. Now address is latched. So here we can have you observe the difference between the read and write machine cycles. Here because this is a write machine cycle that means memory write or IO write. It is a write machine cycle that means the data is there with the processor. So it can place off immediately after address is latched it can place the data on these lines. So here it will be D0 to D15. Okay. So you can uh, make out the difference between the two. Minimum mode and maximum mode in minimum. Uh, sorry. Uh, read and uh, write machine cycle. In case of read cycle data is not there with the processor. So the lines were floating till the data come. But in write cycle, we ha uh, processor has the data with it. So data is uh, immediately put on these lines after the address is latched. So ALE, the same way we can represent ALE will be high for the first T state and low for the rest of the T states. Then memory or IO bar. So it, if it is a memory write cycle then this must be high for entire machine cycle. If it is a IO write that means data to output device then this must be low for the entire 40 states. Then we have data transmit or receive bar this also because now it is transmit the data is sent by the processor to the devices so this signal is high for entire four t states this is high because transmit okay so this uh, transceiver must be enabled for transmitting the data this must be high for the entire four t states then write bar here you need to show the write bar signal in read cycle we were showing read signal here write bar signal so write bar must be low from the t2 to entire t3 state so this must be low here so when this is low then only also data enable data enable bar so this also must be low okay so when this is low and write bar is low then only the data is transmitted to the IO devices 
okay so these are the signals which are represented in case of right machine cycle hope you all understood like first watch the read machine cycle and then the write machine cycle because uh, i have explained uh, these signals in detail in that here i have told you only the difference between the read and write cycle okay so it's better for better understanding first you watch the read machine cycle timing diagram and then this one so if it is asked to give timing diagram for the execution of these instructions okay so when this instruction is executed instruction fetching is different to execute this particular instruction once this instruction is fetched and decoded the processor has to execute this instruction okay so to execute this instruction which machine cycle is to be performed whether it is a memory read or memory write or io read or io write so in this particular instruction what the processor has to do this instruction says that get the data from the memory whose offset address is this to ax register so that means which machine cycle you should give here the machine cycle is memory because it is a memory address given in the instruction memory read cycle so to exec the execution of this instruction it has to perform which machine cycle it is from register to memory that means from processor to memory that is memory write machine cycle memory write operation is to be performed so in this case it is in dx to ax dx means here the address of the input device here dx is holding the address of the input device so from that input device it has to fetch the data get the data from that input device to ax register so what is this it is input read that is io read in this case it is contents of ax register are to be sent to the output device okay so output the data that is output write io write cycle okay